hello everyone welcome back to the altrix tutorials in this video we are going to talk about a few tools from the preparation tab in altrix so first of all uh, we have discussed the tools of the in out tab that means the tools that would be handy when we are importing the data or exporting it now uh, once we have imported the data we may need to perform some manipulations over the data so we would be looking at the tools that would help us to do the exact same thing the preparation tools okay so first tool that we are going to look for is the auto field tool the auto field tool we have already discussed in the data types video that it is used to read through all of the records of an input and set the field type to the smallest possible size that is relative to the data contained in the column. So what we are going to do is in this particular video see the practical application of the auto field tool. So first of all what I have done is I have already input the data using the uh, input data tool. So because this is the step that we have done multiple times till now so we do not need to again see it next i have cleansed this data like in the subcategory there were some of the trailing white spaces so i have cleaned it and um, let me just show you how to clean it real quick uh, the use of this data cleansing tool so let me just remove this tool once from here now how can you clean the data is you can just bring in the data cleansing tool or what you can do is wait for um, Altrix to automatically bring it in. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So first of all, uh, you have inputted the data, then you need to just search for the inconsistent blocks that is the subcategory, go on to these three dots, click on data cleanse, remove unwanted characters, leading slash trailing white space, click on apply. Now, once the changes have been applied, click on this green tick icon, that's okay. So now the changes would be applied and you would see the data cleansing tool has been brought in automatically okay now its configuration panel is also present there which you can use to further clean the values but uh, now our data is clean so we won't be using it anymore right the next thing we are going to do is use the auto field tool so let's just bring in the auto field tool over here now if you see the data preparation tools all have two anchors the input anchor and the output anchor the input anchor is used to take the input data and the output anchor is used to present it further okay so this is the auto field tool as soon as i brought it up there is this configuration panel now here i can select the values through which you want to change the field type okay let's just clear all the values and select only category subcategory and segment from here now once we have selected these fields click on run now what will it do is it would uh, show us the message box that's okay now let's just see the messages that um, would actually tell us what changes it had made so uh, the field type of segment has been changed to string for eight characters field type of category changed to string of 15 characters and that of subcategory to string of 11 characters so this is uh, what the change is made by the auto field tool the uh, um, the changes that it has made in these three fields has been shown to us in case we select all these fields let's just select all and click on run for the auto field tool so what we would be getting is let's again go to the messages so uh, we would be getting that what fields it has changed to the all these records okay so you can see some of them have been changed to string some of them to variable string and so on like this it has made the changes automatically so this is the use of the auto field tool and the data cleansing tool in the preparation tab now uh, let's just save this using Control s and move on to the next tool that is the filter tool so filter tool as the name suggests is used to select the data based upon a particular condition uh, the rows of the data that made the condition are output to the uh, screen in the form of a true anchor and those that do not meet the criteria are output in the form of a false anchor so if we just bring up this filter tool over here you can see it has three anchors the input anchor and in the output it has two anchors the true anchor and the false anchor so we specify a base condition and if the data meets the base condition then it goes into the true anchor otherwise it goes into the false anchor okay so let's see with the example uh, let's click on this filter tool over here so this kind of a configuration box would be there now there are two kinds of filters that we can apply the basic filter or the custom filter in the case of the basic filter we can specify the basic information like if the um, 
criteria is being matched or not if you want to apply some complex operations then we use the custom filters custom filters allow us to add functionalities to add mathematical functions the boolean values the if else statements and many more things which we would be of course seeing one by one but first of all let's take a look at the basic filter so if you remember uh, we had a column called category in this we had some categories like the furniture technology and the office supplies so what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign the furnitures separately that means all the categories where furniture is the category it would be assigned to a true value right so from the basic filter let's just select the column the column name is going to be the category column and equals let's just type in the value furniture okay now once you have typed it you can just click on run to run the workflow and then you would see that okay we have two anchors the true anchor if you just hover over it it would give you the category furniture and then we have is the false anchor for the category furniture okay now here are all the records that are being displayed in the output panel for the true value here you can see this is the true value being shown there are a uh, 1113 records that belong to the category furniture okay so if you hover over it the category here is furniture only furniture all the way furniture but if you go to the false value then what we have is the category technology and office supplies right let's just add another filter anchor over here into the false part where what we would be doing is adding another base filter on the basis of the category let's just select the category again and it must be equal to technology technology over here okay click on run and here so now we again have these true false values for this so in the true there would be the technology values and in the false there would be the office supplies values so this is how we have used the uh, basic filter tool to actually create three separate uh, values for these like the furniture categories are separate the technology is separate and the office supplies is now separate in the separate records okay so this is how the basic uh, filter is being used now what i'm going to do is just i'm going to copy these two fields or these two tools that is the input tool and the data cleansing tool into a new workflow and uh, show you the demonstration of the uh, filter tool for the custom filter okay so let's just bring in our tool over here connect it and here let's just select a custom filter right so here is the fx which you can use to apply any of these conditions or any of these functions like you want to convert it right or you want to perform any kind of a manipulation over here you want to apply any of the conditional statements if you want to allow any date time uh, applications any of the file applications that you can do over here like the string functions so let's just use the count words so i basically need it to count the words okay and then uh, from this x you can just select the existing columns so i want it to select the count words for the city click on run and then uh it's going to give you the values for of course there won't be any false values right now because uh, there could not be any false values for the count function and it would give you uh, the count of the characters of the cities right or basically what we can do is actually use any kind of a basic filter like uh, let's say if the profit is greater than equal to 1 so that would be a profit right so we have written a basic filter query but if you want to see how it is looking in the custom filter there you can apply it profit is greater than equal to one now if you just run it what you would be getting is in the two values the true and the false values so that means the records where we are getting a profit and the records where we are getting a loss in the case of the true are the ones where we are getting a profit here you can see all of these values we are getting a profit but in these values we are getting a loss you can see this is a loss okay so if we just go to the messages um 
you would get that in the 4008 records there were the true values that means there is where we are getting a profit and the remaining 1183 values return false that means these are the values where we are getting a loss so this is the usage of the filter tool in altrix and this is how we use it so that's all for this video thanks for watching